ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸರ್ವೈವ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ಲೇಮರ್ ಯು ಸೀ i'm using this um these words uh, knowingly purposely path goals change transform uh doing what else process I think it's got it covers it more or less. Some of you uh get uh, stressed out a little bit with these words, you see? And this has a reason. Of course it is not the highest language. Surely it isn't. But are you really sure that this is about language? I wouldn't be so hasty if I were you. You see, language is like a tool. It has to be suitable for the task. So this highest uh language or advaitic language when it first appeared uh it was in the time when there were yogis you know powerful yogis seekers with tremendous strength determination this language was useful for them for those who are not afraid of sacrifice of work for them stop this takes you nowhere and it doesn't really but it does at the same time it prepares for this stop nothing to be done and for them this was um a lot but they had the sacredness they were ready whatever becomes crystallized as a reality it becomes your illusion a path no path no contradiction absolutely no contradiction here each seeker has its own needs according to his own beliefs about what is real and true this is what needs to be dissolved yes and what is the best way to dissolve all this all these beliefs it is to stop feeding them how do you stop feeding them you give no more importance you stop investing in this but how many of you can do this 
If you can, good, do it. And for you, nothing to do. And nothing to do is a lot. It is really intense. It is unbearable for the majority. It creates fire, intense fire. But these days, there is a very interesting division, you see? The nothing to do is, spiritually speaking, But life is the same. You're continuing after money to be safe, get security. You're still investing towards acceptance about others. So you go to these spiritual places, to ashrams and all of this, and you're interested in who is there, who you can talk to, who you can uh, share, who you can mingle. The same human worldly goals, you take them around you, with you, and you're saying there's nothing to be done. Spiritually, of course. No meditation, you're beyond meditation. Of course you are. You can tell just inside of you, you can just tell this. Just looking by with your on your afflictions, on your investments, surely. Are you really sure that this language is for the one that takes the quest for truth as a hobby? Something to do in his vacations, in his weekends? It isn't. It is for lions. You see, if you give this to the powerful one he is full of power. He feels because he has tested this, that he can do almost anything in this world. He is not afflicted by fears anymore, dependencies anymore. But the next step is needed and with all the power in the world, it is impossible take it. Innocence has to be there, as reverence has to be there. But the other one that is full of fears and weaknesses can only apply his energy into egoistic undertakings, worldly or spiritual, doesn't matter, as a prophet so it can only do this uh, in a short span of time because he is full of weaknesses. For him, nothing to do. Oh, no, this is, of course this is the way. The way to slumber. And again, if we are talking of seekers of well-being, of worldly people, it is fine, it is the way things appear to be, it is what it is. But there are some of you in the middle of this, that your quest is for truth, and you have been deluding yourselves. And if you want to continue like this, okay. But at least you cannot say that you didn't have a chance. You have lots of chances, of course. So guidance, you see? Comes. Giving you uh, the direction from where you need to go but also towards where you stand you see it's like a relationship 
that the deluded ones speak about abstract and concrete. You see? Abstract, concrete. And the knowers, the seers, speak about concrete, abstract. Or in other languages, God comes to you, but you also have to go to God. Or in the, there is nothing to be done. You stay still and realize God there, but not full of weaknesses. It doesn't work. And the weaknesses are there. This is not about telling you that you're not fit. Weaknesses, pain, suffering, frustrations, all of this is there to help you. Without this, but understand, if you're still going after acceptance, if you're still going after, after the worldly goals, physiological goals, where does this nothing to do fits only spiritually? And this is for those who are in a tremendous thirst for truth. The majority of your teachers have bypassed this, as you are trying to do. You are seeing an image of a master, what he is supposed to look like, smiling and all other things, and you want to imitate this. And this is normal, but naive, and this is robbing you the greatest adventure is robbing you of life. You're attending to these needs, to this naive understanding. But this is robbing. You're the one who is losing. You see, um, India, India, where some of you are, where others are going, has big treasures, you see, even for the blind. If you look at the scriptures, at the stories, you will see how things were in the past. Indians know one thing very well. Whatever teaching, whatever master, whatever comes, it has to go through the test of time. And these new things, even if you don't see it, they are collapsing already. But this, I leave this for the veteran seekers to come forward in their hearts and acknowledge that there is nothing, no fire, nothing. You speak about spiritual fire and the majority has no idea what this means. And I believe that you are really convinced of all these things. Because 
no real steps have been given yet. You're not really testing, testing nature, testing what seems to be. Okay, so nothing to be done. But the need comes to have a relationship. So, how do we stand? Nothing to be done? Or let's go after the relationship. Oh, but nothing is happening. I'm just, this is just, uh, you're just fooling yourself. Oh, my money is running over. It is finishing. Nothing to be done. Okay, so let's see what happens. Turmoil will happen. Fire will happen. And you will have the chance to see if the pullings that are coming from within you, if they are real or not. But if you comply to the demands and you just fool yourself with wisdom, you won't see anything. There's a lot being said true and everything has a purpose whatever that means but you are the one who is choosing what to listen and how to interpret because communication is very complicated you see the word that comes from here goes with a meaning and the word that is there gets a different meaning because there is no reverence, no sacredness, so there is nothing to flow. Real communication cannot happen. So you will get, you will understand what you can. And this is why most of times there is no point even speaking. Nothing to be done, so no need to meditate. <clears throat> okay, but there's another side of the angle of the thing. So what is the problem of meditating? Uh, but this, this is just... <sighs> I don't want to go too much into these alleys because they are precious ones for the majority of you. You protect this wisdom because this allows you to keep the same investments and pretending you are doing something spiritual, that you are feeding the hunger that comes from your heart. But you're not. Hunger is just increasing, increasing, and you're giving more nothing and nothing, and it will just increase and increase. Behind all these things are the same worldly goals. Even for the ones who have a potential. Even for the ones who are seeker of truth. So this is why it is important to always keep a check on the motivations. And you will see them. You see? Because now you may have um, uh, established yourself in a point, for example, just an example, I won't do anything to get others to accept me. But you will be exposed continuously to these situations where the pullings come for you to do something that would uh, bring you acceptance. This is where you gain distance from this. You will abstract from this investment. You will keep silent. You will keep solitude even. Then you will know what is fire, the fire that I'm talking about. And you will gather all the fire 
that you have been wasting so far in meaningless, pointless goals. Then you will see. Before, it doesn't matter if you are in the spiritual practices or not. Well, it does make a little difference, you know, because for the blind ones, for the ones that cannot see or cannot understand, and this is for the ones who know that they cannot understand, and this is for the ones who think they can understand. Spiritual practices, especially meditation, with the wrong motivations and all, in a way, it still opens some doors. If you will cross them or not, this is a different story. If you want to arrive to university, don't be afraid to go through kindergarten. And the veterans, most of you, have gone through university, have gotten their degree or two or three degrees and have nothing because you have to go back to kindergarten. Will you ever know what this going back to kindergarten means? Do you still have the, the strength to do this? We'll see. Have you gathered any merits for this? We'll see. Philosophies, words, they have to keep on changing because as you get exposed to something, it doesn't matter what it is. If you have crystallized it, it becomes your delusion. Truth is a revelation, not a discovery, not a conquest. But a revelation that comes only for those who really don't want anything else out of this world. Those who settle with crumbs, and this is the highest of human uh, endeavors, of all human goals, worldly goals, these are crumbs. For those who settle with crumbs, no banquet. So it's not about philosophies, the right philosophies, wrong philosophies, everything has a use for the different seeker. It's not about a good master or bad master or if he is telling the truth or not telling the truth, if this is more true than this. This is about you, your moment, what you need now. And you're the one who is choosing. Like I said previously, a secret of truth, he gets what he needs from a good master, from a bad one, directly from God, from the source, himself, same, doesn't matter. It matters because it is true, you are God. But not you, the way you perceive yourself, what you know about yourself. No, for, for you, for this you, God is something completely different. And this is one of the problems you, most of you have with God, you see? It makes you feel small.
Yes. So in a way, it is justified because the image of God has been distorted, misused, again, by men, by seekers. There are just two classes, seekers, knowers. If you're not one, you're the other. Even if you pretend to be one, you are still the other. God, for the little individual, is something so big that makes him feel small. And in these egoic quests, I am God. Do you know that there's something greater than me? No, this is not for me, of course. So how will I get my importance, my power, and all these things? But you know, there is a purpose, whatever that means in the world of purposes, in being small. There are beautiful things. If you have never left greatness, if you have always been totality, if there is no universe, if there is no creation, what is this? What is the point of this that you're experiencing? Because in your heart, these previous words are true. But in your perception, this is also true. So those who speak only about the highest, they cannot say anything about this littleness. And those who speak about this littleness cannot know this highest. But both are there, whatever that means. Well, they're not, but again, this is not for the majority of you. And it's not bad, it's not comparing, it's not being less. This is an adventure. So don't waste your time running after little things. If they are a need, if they are a part, they will come. You'll be tempted on the way to succumb to these little impressions, these little goals of family, possessions, and all of this. Forget about this. It's not a tragedy. It's not, it's really the other way around. Inside of you, things will come to confuse you. If you're paying attention to sensations, feelings, and thoughts, you have to prepare yourself for guidance. And this has to be earned. How is this earned? With work, sincerity, transparency, dedication, determination. But I think you get the idea. Then it will come. And this is the greatest of all adventures. If you succeed in your worldly goals, they are still nothing compared to this. This quest for truth that burns in your heart. It is there to make possible for you to experience this greatness. Like this, as you recognize yourself. 